everybody! Welcome to Victivity's Memorial Day video. I'm Baker B, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make red, white, and blue pinwheel cookies. Now before we get started, I'd like to have a moment to recognize all the men and women who have lost their lives in the line of duty. What you will need for this recipe, one cup of margarine or butter, one cup of sugar, one egg, two teaspoons vanilla extract and a half a teaspoon almond extract, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and three and one half cups of flour. Now, we are going to start the same way you start any cookie recipe. You have to cream your butter and margarine or margarine together with your sugar. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. Now, the margarine, and the egg that we will get to are at room temperature. The point of having them at room temperature is that they will make for a better creaming. It will cream nicer and smoother together as opposed to cold margarine or butter will take a really long time to cream and, and it won't smooth, be smooth and creamy like you want when you cream margarine. So in the bowl, I have sugar and margarine and I'm going to take my mixer and we're going to get started. Now once your sugar and margarine are creamed together, you want to add your egg. And you want to add your extracts. Now in this cup, I already have the two teaspoons of vanilla extract and the half a teaspoon of almond extract. Some people like to keep it separate. There's really no big difference. You can just go ahead and pour them both right on in and mix again. Now just to get everything fully incorporated, I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl and give it one more quick mix to make sure that we get everything fully incorporated here. Okay, now you want to add your baking powder, it's one teaspoon. You want to add your half a teaspoon of salt and your three and a half or three and a quarter cups of flour. But you only want to add a little bit at a time. So we're going to add about a cup of flour and mix it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the next cup of flour. And the point is to make sure that it all incorporates into the cream uh, fully and completely so that we can have a smooth cookie batter. Okay, I'm going to break the last part into two. And again, I'm going to scrape down the bowls just to make sure that everything gets incorporated into our cookies properly. And the last little bit of flour right there. We have an empty bowl. Okay. That's it. We're done with the mixer for now. Now, you have a cookie dough. If you press it together ever so gently, you'll see that it forms a clump. And if you were to play with it a little bit more, it forms very nice cookie dough. Okay, now we're going to take our cookie dough and we're going to divide it into three sections. The reason we're going to divide it into three is because we want red, white, and blue, right? So we need red and blue food coloring to be added to the bowls so that we have our three different colors. So I'm going to approximately split them into three categories. Now the white is white. You don't need to re-go back into that one and to change the color. That is already white. Now I bought a regular packet of food coloring from the store and we're going to use the red and the blue and we will make some red, white, and blue cookies with it. So I'm going to take out the red and you're going to start with about five or six drops at a time and you're going to mix it together. Now keep in mind that you can 
change it by adding more red if it's not dark enough. But you can't take away red. So you always want to start with less and continue to more. Okay? If you're going to do this part by hand, make sure you wear gloves because it will stain your hands and you won't be able to get it out for a long time. Okay? I'm going to use a mixer and just... Now the dough is still kind of pink, so I would like to add a little bit more of the red food coloring to make our red. At this point, I'm pretty happy with the color. It's pretty deep red next to the pink bowl. It doesn't look very red, but it looks pretty red. Okay, so we're gonna stick to this. We'll do the same with the blue, and we will. I'm going to fast forward to a dough that I already have rolled out. You will stick it in the fridge at this point overnight. You want to have a nice chilled dough. The point of the chilled dough is so that when you bake it, it doesn't expand, it stays the shape you want it. And because we're making a pattern, because we're making a pinwheel, we need it to stay the right shape. Now, once you've taken your chill dough out of the refrigerator, you want to roll them out into three equal size rectangles. Okay? You're going to layer them, okay, just like this. Now, be careful, they may crack, and if they crack, that's okay. Just layer them on, just go ahead, oh, there we go, they crack. Just layer them on as if it didn't crack just as even and as symmetrical as possible to the rectangle underneath it. You want it to be in the same place, in the same shape. But you do want to make sure there are no gaps like here. I don't know if you can see right here down the middle, there's a big gap from where it broke. So I'm just gonna gently press it together, trying to reform that gap. Okay, next you're gonna take your white, And layer it on top and this one went on evenly without cracking so that's much better okay then this is the fun part you get to roll it okay so we take our cookie dough and we gently as you can see it from the side you're going to keep using the parchment paper you're going to gently roll it Okay, and you can kind of see a pinwheel forming in the middle. Okay. Until you have a log, like so. I'm just smoothing it out in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Now, I love this technique. You could use a knife if you so choose. I prefer to use a string. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put the string down, put your log right over it, and very, very gently cross the two sides of the string and pull. And what you're going to end up with, well, this piece is the end piece, so it's not a great piece. So let's use the next piece. Again, put it underneath, very gently twist the sides and pull. Look at that beautiful pinwheel. It will maintain its shape. Okay, so you don't have the knife squishing it down. You have the rope pulling it to the center or the string, rather, pulling it to the center. And everything comes out nice and even. Let's do that again. See? Twist the two sides of the string. Let me move my hand so that see it very clearly on the video. I have the two strings and I just pull. And when you do, it very neatly cuts the shape that you want to maintain. Okay? You're going to line them all up on your cookie sheet like this. I use foil. Some people would use parchment paper. It doesn't matter which one. And then you will bake it at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. Once it's baked, you'll have Beautiful pinwheel cookie. 
Put some sanding sugars on top to make it sparkle a little bit. Get that beautiful red, white, and blue Memorial Day cookies. Thank you for watching and have a great day.